Hey guys, what's happening? Steve here from GraphicDesignerTips.com. Thank you very much for joining us tonight for this video tutorial. Um, if you're on our YouTube page right now, feel free to check out our website at GraphicDesignerTips.com. Uh, you can find a lot of useful information, uh, tutorials, freebies, and articles uh, about graphic design. So, what we're going to talk about in this tutorial tonight is we're going to talk about how to set up a new document in Adobe Illustrator. It's uh, it's the first thing you do really after you open up the program, and it's very important to do uh, correctly because if you set your document uh, incorrectly, um, you're gonna have to go back and make some changes later. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, you might run into some problems, especially when going to print. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Adobe Illustrator, which I have open now, and we're gonna come up to the File menu, and we're gonna come down to New. And if you look over to the right, you're gonna see a hotkey shortcut. Uh, which on the Mac is Command N. I believe on a PC it's uh, it the command changes to a control. Um, so we're gonna click this, and now our new document window is gonna open up. And the first thing it asks for is what the name of the document is. Very important. Uh, important for organization, and you know if you need to do a search later on through your computer, you cannot find the document. You'll know what to search for. So in this case, we're gonna name this test document all right um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down and Illustrator has a couple of presets in this new document profile area um, so if you're going to be doing something for print when you select print you're going to notice that the color mode stays at CMYK and the pixels per inch stay at 300 you want a minimum of 300 for print because uh, you want to have good quality when you send your document to a printer if you change the profile to web, you're going to see that the color mode changes to RGB and the pixels per inch change to 72. Um, to make it real simple without going into a whole topic about uh, resolution, which is pixels per inch, um, if, you de if, if you take a photo off the internet and you print it, you notice it's going to get very pixelated. That's because all web graphics is 72 uh, PPI or DPI. Um, that being said, print is going to be 300 resolution so when you print something it's going to be a much higher quality when I would suggest in this case you either stick with print or web um, in, in mo most cases if you're just opening up Adobe Illustrator for the first time you probably purchased it for the purpose of maybe designing a business card or a flyer for yourself or your company so in this case we're going to select print now we're going to come down to uh, size. Letter size is a basic 8.5 by 11 size. Um, legal size, tabloid size is 11 by 17. Um, it's really whatever you need it for. Uh, generally, a lot of people use 8.5 by 11 to start out with. Uh, but you can also change that right down here. And if you're not familiar with points, do not worry about that. Uh, it gives you a couple different units you can choose from. Uh, I like to, you know, I like to stay with what, with what I know most, uh, which is inches. I also know pixels and points, but I'm more familiar with inches. So we're gonna select inches, and this looks a little bit more familiar. Eight and a half by eleven. Uh, select your orientation. Is the next thing you want to do? Is it gonna be portrait or is it gonna be landscape? Uh, the width and height change accordingly when you do click these, which is pretty cool. Um, and if you are a beginner, I would definitely uh, not recommend you change anything in the advanced mode uh, because you can do a document profile for a print uh, document and you also can change the color mode on it. You don't want to start doing that stuff. That's why the presets are there. Um, so what you're going to do now is you're going to hit OK and your document is going to open. Right now we have a blank canvas and we're ready to go. Before before you do anything, I would always suggest that if you look up here, uh, test document is the name of the document, but the document isn't actually saved anywhere. There's a name for it, but it's not actually saved. So if you have a folder somewhere or you just want to save it on your desktop, which we're going to do right now, um, you know, figure that out first. And as soon as this document's created, go to File, Save As, and I'm going to pick my desktop and I'm going to name this test document AI Adobe Illustrator document is the extension and we're gonna hit save and in the Illustrator options I wouldn't really worry about anything 
Um, you can come down here and change the versions of Illustrator. This would work if you were sending something to a printer and say they weren't current on, on the new software uh, and they only had Adobe Illustrator CS2, which CS, by the way, stands for Creative Suite. And if they only have Creative CS2, you're going to have to save it down one. And it's going to be very helpful for them when they're opening up the file because they're most likely not going to have, you know, they're not going to have big issues with the file as if you save it as a CS3. So last thing you do is hit OK. And you're just going to hit OK again. And that's it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for joining our tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, um, this is one of my first blogs I'm putting up here. Uh, we're going to be putting a lot more good stuff up here. Visit our website. Um, and that's it. Thank you guys very much. Have a great night.